Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, facilities for filmmaking in Calgary. Luke, uh, as as Vito is here, uh, who's the Commissioner of Film, Television and Creative Industries with Calgary Economic. And uh, we are going to take a look at uh, a little bit about film in our city. Take a look. Picture this, you're making a movie. A movie with horses and prairie and foothills and big sky. It is the Wild West. You're making a movie in Alberta. Big stars. Incomparable landscapes, modern cities, great crews, competitive costs. making a movie in Alberta. So I think even as somebody who lives here, I forget about the amazing things that are around us. And of course, you end up watching a video like that and you're reminded, um, is that something that is so great about the film industry in our city and our province? Well, I think um, many people don't know the level of activity that, uh, that happens here. This mm -hmm. is uh, an industry that's injecting hundreds of millions of dollars a year into the economy here. Um, employs uh, just in the in the film and television industry employs over 3,000 people and uh, the quality of the production that we do um, has gotten accolades uh, globally so we have more Academy Emmy and Golden Globe nominations than any jurisdiction in the country we're the first or uh, the fourth largest shooting area in Canada um, and some of the the projects that have been done um, recently uh, you start looking at interstellar you look at what happened with Fargo last year with uh, with more Emmy nominations than any other show. Um, this is about our local crew and talent. The people that are on camera, behind the camera, um, you know, fixing the cameras and uh, and everything in between. And uh, I think that you know, if if uh, you take a step back and you see the level of quality that that has happened here in this province with this these productions, um, it's amazing. And then also a training ground for our local um, talent uh, who can take what they learn on these sets with these fantastic directors, cinematographers, and then bring back to their own projects and our Alberta projects. So. Um, and you work with people like Herman, right? Yeah, I'm sure you get people who've worked on these bigger productions that come in and help you as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what is the the film scene like in Calgary right now? I, I feel like we've been talking a lot about it recently mm -hmm. because of films like Fargo or uh, TV shows like Far Fargo filming here. Um, but has that changed over the last couple of years or have we just seen bigger productions here? Well, um, you know, we've had um, 100 years of filmmaking uh, history in this province. This is nothing new. Mm -hmm. But what, what happens notoriously is that when some of these projects get the type of international acclaim that, the, that projects like Fargo and Hell on Wheels and even Heartland this year um, have become the longest dramatic series, one hour dramatic series in Canadian history, um, a local production is, uh, you know, that's when people start to pay more attention to it. Mm -hmm. But the, the quality of work and the level of work that we've been doing Although growing, um, it is uh, it's been here a long time. Uh, so from our perspective, there's uh, you know there's the the reason to be here now. The Canadian dollar is helping us attract more attention. Uh, we're a stable incentive, so that what we're incentivizing to have people come here um, has been stable for many years. They know that the crew base can produce the kind of quality that they that on the screen that they want. And look around us. Um, within a three-hour radius, you have two cities over a million people. You got the prairie the badlands and the mountains the only thing we don't have is the ocean and you know based on global warming it may be after Banff here over the next 10 years <laughs> we, or so, so. we might have ocean pretty quickly yeah. um, and quickly let's talk about the film center that's uh, to be built mm -hmm. is that going to help yeah, absolutely. Or, or, of course. Yeah. So what happens is that right now and for the, the, you know, forever, what we've been doing is trying to find facilities that can be retrofitted, um, that has producers investing money in them, and then having to leave um, after the fact, and then those facilities get rented to other folks um, that aren't in the industry. So it's a very difficult process. It also doesn't help legitimize us as a location of choice um, when you don't have purpose-built facilities. So the sound stages 
and peripheral buildings are being built right now. Um, they're going up and we anticipate uh, a growth in the industry over the next few years and this is really going to help us um, solidify us as a location of choice going forward. So very, uh, very proud of the fact that they're coming together and, and look forward to what they're going to bring us. Is that exciting for you, Hernan, to hear that? Oh, very much yeah. so. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, not only uh, the, the pride that gives us as a mm -hmm. community to know that that's going to happen, but also the motivation uh, that gives us to keep working and getting better and better every time. So are we becoming a destination? for filmmakers around the world. We are, yeah. not becoming, we are. we are. And what we're doing is we're growing that ability. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to Hernan's point, one of the things that we want to ensure we do with these facilities is it's not just about the big budget mm -hmm. um, um, come to our location and utilize them. We want to have access for our local filmmakers as well. So I think that you know, from our perspective as an industry, when you start looking at the support we get from the Alberta government and Alberta Film, you look at the support that we're getting from the City of Calgary as a film-friendly environment, you look at the support that you get from festivals that are playing our local uh, productions and helping those folks uh, move forward, I think that we have a community here that's very strong, and I think that if more people knew about it, and we do try to get the message out consistently, um, but if more people knew the, the success level of this industry, and what it could become, um, I think there would be a lot more support from that 29% that we're seeing there that doesn't feel it impacts them. Uh, we have a video question for you that was sent in. Take a look. Jillian McCormick here. Just wondering with all the focus on the Canadian film and television industry, how you find the impact of the low Canadian dollar is impacting that industry? So we touched on that a little bit mm -hmm. a few moments ago, but is that going to help us in the next little while here? Absolutely, across mm -hmm. the country. Um, what happens is that you create, the, the way that um, other areas in the world, specifically in North America work, is there's incentives to come and film in those locations. In some of these areas, the incentives are extremely high. So it, it's very difficult for Canadian locations in some instances to be competitive at that rate. So with the Canadian dollar at the level that it is, the, the eyeballs turn to Canada very quickly. We have experienced crews, they know that the quality of the product that can be done across the country and so that gives them um, further incentive to be here and allows them to um, put more and better product on the screen because they have that that buffer zone so there are so many interesting questions I think that we we could continue on with this but if you your film TV guy on Twitter right yes. so if you have any questions uh, for uh, Luke here you can find him at uh, film TV guy on Twitter and you can carry on the conversation after the show